Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to view particular users data using a model and uh, using jQuery Ajax. So in previous video, we have seen how to fetch the data before getting started with the video. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So you will get regular updates on it on the video that I am posting it and do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started with the video. So this was the previously uh, fetched data. Whenever we insert, we get automatically fetched. We have done that. So if you have not yet watched that video, I expect you all to do watch it and uh, then come back to this video and see how to fetch a single user's data using a model. So here we have fetched till department. Now let's go footer. You can see that we have fetched here. Here itself we have to give that edit delete. So I am going to make two more columns. One is action and one is delete. So let's do that. Let me remove this. Within this. Let's have an A tag. Let's copy paste it once again and tell this as edit. Sorry, first we'll view, edit, and here we'll have delete. So, for that, let's remove this and copy paste it here. Remove this. So, here inside, let's give a class is equal to btn btn primary and let's make this button a small and copy this class paste it for this and change this to success and copy the same class paste it here and change this to danger so we have three buttons here which will perform its own action and let's add a comment i mean let's give this now oh, that's gone let's go reload and check before that go to index and here we have to add a column header so let's tell this as action and let's rename this to delete okay so after this let's go reload and check so you have here in actions you have or else you can place this delete also inside action so let's do that instead of giving here. Let's remove this and inside footer cut this anchor tag from here and paste it here. Now let's remove this td which is there. Okay, I think everything is resolved now. Yeah, let's go reload now. So you have inside action, you have three buttons. This view is what we are going to perform now. So when we click on this view button, I should get all the like when if I'm clicking on view of user one so i should get the data displayed in a model so that's the action that we are going to do in this video so the first thing is that we will paste the model copying only the model so i'm just copying it from here go to get bootstrap so don't forget use the latest version and once after copying it go to index and paste it so here you have add model below just paste it as and tell this as view model and here you have example model right just change that to view student okay view student so i've changed the id here and here you have dots we have to design here but we'll do it later so i have changed the id here and uh, here we have the student data first thing that you have to understand is Inside index, we are only giving the table header. We are not performing the action from here. We are performing the action from this where we have appended. So accordingly only we can work with that. So here instead of JQ click, we have to use JQ on. Don't forget when you are doing directly, you can use JQ click. When you are doing this way, you have to use JQ on. So if you use JQ click, that will not work. So just tell JQ on. So on selector, you will have the document. Okay. And event. You can sell click event. And here we will have the class name. Let's give this as view student. 
and add a comma. Okay, now this is set. Let's echo this and check. Console log hello. Okay, so this will not directly work. So we have pasted a class here. So copy this class and paste the class name inside this. Once after pasting, make sure you give a dot which specifies class. So once after pasting, let's reload and check the output that if you are getting that hello. So I am just going to inspect console and I am going to click on user 1 and I am clicking view. I am getting the hello there. Okay, or else we can let's use alert here instead of console. So view, I am getting hello. So this is done. Now we have to get the ID. Let's comment this code. So for ID, what we should do? You see, when I click on view first user, I have to get that user's details. So using ID, we can get that, right? For that, we need ID. So for that, you create a variable. I'm going to create std ID is equal to dollar this dot closest of find dot text. Okay, we are going to find the closest closest of what it is here closest of it is inside footer closest of tr correct closest of tr so give tr here and what we are going to find find what find id so here you have to give the class name for this or you can give id also no problem so when you are giving class make sure you use a dot when you are giving ash make sure you Sorry, when you are giving ID, make sure you use hash. So, student ID, I am using a class. So, with a dot, I am going to paste it here. So, now let's alert this and check. Cut this, paste it here. Copy this. Paste it here. And now let's go reload. So when I click on this view, I'm getting one. So the ID of user is one. And when I click on this five, Merlin, I have to get five. I'm getting five. So we have fetched the ID. Using this ID, we should get all the details. Let's comment this and use a JQ Ajax here. JQ Ajax. So the method is going to be post. And URL is going to be code.php. So go back, tell code.php. And we are going to take data that is ID. So data is required, but this data type is not required. Let's remove that data type. So here I will be telling click view button. So if this button is true, then it has to take the ID, which is stood ID. Okay. And let's alert the response as well. Alert response. Or we'll console log the response. Console log the response. So we are console logging the response. So let's copy this and go to code.php with the post method. So copy this button name and go to code.php. Add a if condition. If is set of dollar post of this. If that button is clicked, what has to happen? Let's echo for now. And check if we are getting that is equal to hello so what let's see if we are getting this result printed here so reload i'm gonna click on become this is okay we are getting that but that is going you can alert if you want so let's alert and check alert so let's reload once again and click you are getting that hello here so Go to code.php, remove this line of code and what you are going to take ID rate. So here tell stood 
id create a variable dollar post of std id create a variable view student view student query and we are going to select star from students what was not student php ajax is a table name so copy paste and give a where condition where id is equal to this id okay and give a semicolon give a run query student query run using my sqli query function connect your database along with this query so once after this using array push function we have to push the code so for that let's create an empty array here let's name this as result array is equal to so i've created an empty array after creating an empty array i want to check if this code if there is data so my sqli number of rows of this query is greater than 0 which means there is data present else echo result is equal to no record found okay if there is record found use a for each loop for each dollar view query run as dollar row so here using array push function tell dollar result array comma row and now we have to get this thing right so use header function and tell content type application slash json so here after this json encode function and pass this result array variable and echo this so when you echo this what is the result that we are getting here will be fetched here and that we'll just console log and check if we are getting as expected result okay so now this is done we know that we are getting the data here so we have to use a for each loop and check so for each so here we will not be using for each we will use jq each and tell collection collection is nothing but the response so pass the response and here let's have the key value okay inside this we will just console log and check if we are getting that value value of let me tell name so I should get the names printed which name I am clicking on that has to get printed so let me reload and again console log so I am getting Anu you can see I am getting Anu Anu and it is disappearing let's comment this tell dollar this of text dot value of id so this id should be inside single quotes copy paste this to what id name email phone and department so name this as name email phone department once after this here this dollar this right so that's a class name actually that class name is nothing but which is coming from your model so we have not yet created that let's do that quickly before that go to model let's give a class here so here i am gonna type h4 tag and tell 
copy paste 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 here i'm gonna add a class is equal to view id okay give the class name unique and copy this class name paste 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 change this to name email phone and department so once this is done this is a class name that we'll be pasting it inside this footer so let's quickly do that so here we have view id copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste copy and paste so after this here you have id right to call we have to call the model then only the model will be called so using the id we will be calling so copy this id and go to footer so here once after this loop just call the model so here so we are using id so use ash d dot model and tell show okay now let's go reload and check if we are getting the output we are not getting the output the model is not being called let's check what is wrong with this so here we are calling the model okay here what we have to do is inside this href add a hash now let's go reload and check now you can see when i clicked i'm getting one is neha all of those so this is it if you want you can just give a name email all of the label so we'll do with this label as well let's remove this button so go to index and here you have the h4 right so before this h4 you can just add a label label cut this paste it here and you can just tell us student id okay and the same way so yeah i have finished doing this add a break tag after label so it will give you in a proper alignment let's click on view you can see student id is one name sneha email phone and which department the student belongs and i've just removed that close uh, i mean save changes button and i've only kept the close button change the model title also as view student model okay so once after this yeah this is done so the title is also changed now so i have only kept the close button so I click on user 4 I am getting the data of user 4 correctly so yeah that's it in this video I hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video